So let's go back. How did you get started in this crazy world of social yeah. media? We, I want to go way oh back. God, yeah. Um, so uh, I went to college at Georgetown and I was studying film and media studies. Smart. Occasionally. <laughs> Not anymore, I don't think. I think the internet has like melted my brain, but I used to be super into like, you know, rating. Um, <laughs> don't do that as much anymore. Uh, but um, yeah, I was in the film and media studies program there. And um, I started making my own sketch, like writing my own sketches, but I was still in the closet. So I like wasn't doing anything too wild or, you know, I just thought I would like post a video on the internet and everyone would be like, you're gay. You know, like the, you know, that would be the only comment, um, which hasn't really happened. I mean, sometimes it does. But um, and so then I found Dub Smash. Do you remember Dub Smash? Like, what is pre that? TikTok. Pre, those, I know what it was. I'm like so unfamiliar with it, but it's I, when yeah. you describe it as pre TikTok. What is that? It's so they have like segments of songs, and then you could lip sync to them. So I would come up with these like crazy scenarios, and I would like have costumes on, and I would do the dub smash with that. And then like people started tagging friends, which I thought was funny. And I'd always wanted to be an actor, but like I'm from Idaho, so that wasn't something that I That's said out loud. That's not in the loud. cards. To people from <laughs> yeah, I was not saying that out loud, or else my family would have been like, "Wait, what?" That's kind of random. Um, not my family, but more like you know the people I went to school with would have been like, "We what?" So what's I did the career that. path in Idaho? Oh God, my my mom's a teacher, my dad's a lawyer. Um, there's a lot of like tech stuff now. Um, yeah, it's, I think that's pretty much it. <laughs> and doctors. <laughs> I think that's it. Um, and I guess farmers, but not in Boise. But, um, yeah, so I, you know, I started, like, kind of making uh, a little bit more, you know, fully formed sketches. Um, I got a job at a startup, and I was editing their videos, and I kind of learned how to, like, edit my own. Um, then I came out, and the videos just, like, went off. Like, at that point, I was, like, full costumes. Like, I was buying all these wigs, and people were responding so quickly. And once it goes, it goes. Like, it was rapid. And um, what year is this? This was – so I would say it really picked up, like, a year and a half ago. Um, I did, like, a, a Queer Eye parody that did really well, and it got some, like, traction – and then that same week, I um, mimicked Kim Kardashian Snapchats, and that went like crazy, crazy on Facebook. Do um, you like study them to mimic them, like, what, or does oh it just come natural? I think I've consumed so much of their like media that I can do it now. Um, but I wonder, you know, I I always think like maybe it was my time in the closet, like studying people or studying straight men of how to be a certain way and you know I've always been definitely like theatrical so I've always liked you know the idea of like being someone else or what that would be like what do you mean by that like you had to you were studying straight men how to act yeah. because you were nervous about yeah of like how do I do it like how do I pull this off um I think was definitely like a little bit of my mindset um and so yeah I think I just it's super easy to do them because I watch so much of their content and then I find myself like you know, if I watch their interviews, they talk so specifically and they've almost like taught a generation how to talk. Like I, I meet so many people who I'm like, oh my God, you're talking like a Kardashian. Like it's slow and it's... Yeah, what's the, what's the, what's the trick? Oh my God. Tell so us how, how to talk like how, if I, like, so, if I was, if you were, yeah, if you were, yeah. Oh my God. Okay, teach I'm Michael. excited. Oh. So to talk if like you're Kim Kardashian. Kim. Okay. So, hey, you guys, you know, it's very... It's like she used to have a high pitch and now it's literally just vocal fry. Like just destroy your vocal cords essentially is how you do Kim. So you'll be like, hey, you guys, what's up? I have this new product. It, you know, it's like everything is so slow and they want to make sure you hear what they say. This is, and then she, goes to, she goes, guys. Yes. Yeah. Hey, guys. <laughs> it's like, guys, it's oh always touching your hair. God. Yeah. Guys. And it's ASMR kind of. A little bit. Yeah. A little bit. There's like compilation videos on the internet of like so, Kim Kardashian ASMR. So yeah. when you were in college and you were still in the closet, what was yeah. that like? That sounds gnarly. Oh my God. Yeah. That was terrible. Um, super you, depressed. You can't be true and, to yourself. And I feel like your no. whole thing is being true to yourself. Yeah, exactly. And um, I, yeah, I mean, I think I kind of just, um, I tried to keep myself as busy as possible. So like I had a radio show I loved and, you know, I had great friends and, um, did I your just, friends like, know or was completely hidden? So some of my friends knew early. Mm -hmm. Um, I told a few of them. Um, and yeah, I don't, you know, you never, was know it one why. of those things where when the, the people that knew it's like, 
yeah, we've known all along. Yeah. We felt like that. Or is it like it was so you were no. hiding it? So, okay. So people knew. Yeah. I think, well, so it was a mix. So like my family, you know, maybe they thought when I was younger, but then they were like, but you know, it didn't happen. So, you know, we're not going to like force the issue yeah, or like, bring you it know, up. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, and friends I think had thought maybe, um, because I wasn't like with women ever, uh, only like friends. <laughs> so, um, like all my friends were girls pretty much like most of my life. So, um, yeah, I mean, I think my friends, like maybe they thought, but you know, it's always, it's hard. I feel like when you come out, you don't necessarily want people to be like, we always knew it's like, okay, like, give me some credit. Like I tried, Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, do you think as a creator, when you were able to actually be really authentic and real with yourself and other people that it yeah. made you a better creative? Oh my God. Yeah. yeah. I don't think you could be an actor. And, you know, and I think this goes for everybody. Like, I just don't think that you can create something really special if you're, like, hiding so much of yourself. Um, you know, I – which just, like, shows. I mean, I watch some of my old stuff, and I'm like, this is terrible. I'm like, it's so bad. It's, like, not um, – wasn't you. Yeah, it wasn't me. So, yeah, I think you have to be so – especially as, like, an actor. What about Tom Cruise, though? Oh my God. I'm, I mean, I'm always curious. There are so many people that I'm like, mm, I don't know. Like, I hope, I hope you're not, you know, like I always say, like, I hope that if you're you know, portraying that you're able to, if you're portraying you're straight and you're really, yeah, you're that, I hope that, I hope yeah. that you are. Yeah. I, I, you know, there's like a, I, I think the term is like, um, closet shaming or, you know, of, you know, I think this person's in the closet and, you know, I never, I don't know. I'm like, Oh, I mean, I, I, I do get suspicious every now and then, but I try to hope that they're not because like if they are in the closet the current like predicament going on in their head is a nightmare and i'm so glad i'm like out of that nightmare yeah it must feel it great sucks. to just oh be able God. to be yourself on your own terms oh, it's the fucking best yeah and you realize that like the right people don't care no, no like, well, that's you know, the key like, like, and who, if, if someone does care move yeah no, i'm like oh okay the next. key to that like, though is the first yeah. word like the right people don't care yeah. the people that do care are the wrong people yeah. exactly and who gives a shit yeah you and know? it's an easy way to cut people out you yeah know? it's like it kind of just cuts the fat yeah it's <laughs> so, kind of useful okay. yeah in a way nice. yeah. if you look at it that's like wow yeah. shit I'm like, cuts damn, the fat there you go toxicity out yeah, bye we're good so yeah it's yeah i don't know highly recommend so my question is, how yeah. long has it taken you to really grow on YouTube and Instagram mm -hmm. and become this this character? Obviously, it didn't happen overnight. I yeah. know that. Yeah. Walk us through from when it started to where it is now and how mm -hmm. it's evolved. Yeah. So, um, so when I had my old job, I was trying to make like two solid videos a week. Um, and I only started a YouTube channel so that I could make longer sketches. Um, Cause the one minute on Instagram is like very limiting. Uh, but still you pack a lot in there as well. I, was I try. I was diving in. <laughs> you are fucking funny. I try. Which I almost feel, minute. it feels like you've shot multiple videos the, mm -hmm. in those yeah. videos. Yeah. Does that make sense? Oh yeah. It's not like you're just taking a camera doing one take. Taylor, like much Taylor, you should take tips from him. He said he fills the minute. Taylor Taylor was on our podcast that? talking about his uh, one minute man problem, and yeah. so he could use some. No, some it's tips. it's hard, and it's, well, sometimes I'm like, how do I still tell the story and get the good parts? Because I want the good parts on Instagram. That's like where most of you know the people who like consume my stuff um, get it. Uh, yeah, it's it's very it's like a weird science that I'm I'm still trying to like get it down, but it is like when. Um, the easiest is when it's one joke and I'm just n like trying to nail the joke. So it's like this, you know, this person in this situation. Did That's you study easy. comedy? I did. Yeah. So I had one class Makes in college a lot more sense. that was like specific comedy. Um, and then I, you know, I tried to read a lot before I started doing live shows and like, cause you know, I think so many people are funny, but stand up is just like a whole beast. And I have so much respect for people who can do a full hour, you know, like in my show I do 30 minutes and I'm like, oh, that's still like, a long time. Not, yeah, it's, it was long and it took a long time to get that set. But um, yeah, I studied that and, and acting and, but comedy, I just, I love it. I feel like it's something that everybody enjoys. So how long from when you first started YouTube to now? How many years? So I started my YouTube channel. When did I do it? Like, okay. are we talking 10 years ago, five years oh, ago, God, no, two like, years? Uh, uh, probably not even two. 
like a year wow. and a half. So you've blown yeah. up really quickly. In fact, out of all the creators we've talked to, you've Damn. blown up. You know what I think it is I'm about you shook. is that you're so funny and everyone oh, wants you. to laugh. Who doesn't want to laugh? If you exactly. don't want to laugh, yeah. what? Yeah, like everyone I, we wants need to laugh. the escape. Yes, and like, so I think, the, I mean, you have blown up more Thank than you. any creator we've had on the podcast. Do you think it's so because, much. like, what do you think the, the main reason is outside of just like raw talent and, you know, picking great characters? Like, mm -hmm. do you, when you create content, is it topical? Is it something, is it current? Like, how do you... Yeah. Like, I saw the video you just put out with Chris Jenner. And, yeah, and yeah. Was it Tristan Thompson? Is that some of those? Yeah. So I was eating dinner with my boyfriend when that like came out, and I looked at him and I was like, "Oh fuck, I probably have to make a video, right?" And he was like, "Yeah, you do." So sometimes, yes, I love it. The Kardashians and like Britney and you know queer. I got like they all give me a lot to work with as far You're as pop keeping culture. Up. Yeah, I'm keeping up. Yes, um, but God, I mean, I yeah. So. If there's a topical moment, absolutely. Um, then sometimes, like, randomly, I'll, like, strike a chord that I didn't know was there. So that's probably the astrology videos. I was not anticipating the, like, craze that was going on. But in everyone has currently. a sign. But everyone has a sign, and they all are so... <laughs> Even if they're not invested in it, so let me they ask still you this. are. If I'm an Aries. He was looking for Aries. <gasps> <laughs> He's an Aries. Oh, you're getting it next month. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. I'm already getting requests. I'm, I'm terrified. Okay. What are, so do you, you know some some traits of an Aries? He loves to hear oh about his sign. You haven't done it yet. Oh, my so God. You're I haven't done it. Have you so done a Gemini? Full no, that's going to be the best. The Gemini is going to be the best. It's going to be the best one. I, I There's Two so personalities. much personalities. Because you don't, you don't know what you're getting with a Gemini. Like yeah. I, I, someone asked me what Lauren's personality is like, and I was like, it depends. Like the the position of the moon, the sun. It depends what day it is. You know, I don't know who I'm getting. That's the best kind of personality. I'm yeah, sorry, I don't like boring. No, like you're you one on your boring person. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, I like it. You need, you should um, end with a Gemini. Well, so I'm doing them in order so that I'm like there's it's like almost a birthday present to my followers, and then also <laughs> like it just gives me like a little break because like I'm not an astrologist, like I'm just an actor, like, just an editor. I'm not here to like you know <laughs> preach to you about your sign, but um, there are some like little things that are that I've, you know, read and, and it's what funny the, to watch people things? relate. <laughs> okay. So Pisces, it, they're very sensitive and they yeah. cry a lot. So I had a lot to work with there, but what I like the most, there's always something that I like stick to. So, you know, even for the Kris Jenner thing, I'm like, this is, I just feel like Chris probably wants to kill Tristan, right? Yeah, like, yeah. I feel like she's like fucking Is that why you wear those guy. hands? And so, yeah. So well, I'm, t I'm slowly cr like <laughs> turning her into Satan. <laughs> like, you know, which I just think is fun. That's like a side joke for myself, I think. But, um, but so I read that Pisces, um, they like really love checking in on their exes. So I like stuck to that and I was like, okay, well, that's going to be the like, the big ending to the so video, you pick a I theme guess. like every time yeah yeah i think yeah. it's smart and scorpio i mean i'm a scorpio and it's all so very relatable easy, but i that's try yeah i hope um that's <laughs> if if it is you know there are somewhere you know there are less comments and less interaction i'm like oh maybe this one didn't hit like mm -hmm. you know and so i definitely learn from every video and yeah so so what do you think chris jenner's thinking right now about oh jordan God. woods and her jordan. red her red table talk with mm -hmm. jada pickett smith i'm not am i flubbing all these pickett. words pickett. Pickett. Jada pickett, yeah. Yeah. okay smith. who's so sweet so sweet i like want to sit down and I, I tell her everything yeah <laughs> she like, is what a yeah. great interviewer i'm like jordan like did you deserve that nice of an interview <laughs> you know what i mean she i'm like you're nice. lucky yeah yeah, she, she picked, was nice. She picked well. I what do you like? Friends, what but... is Chris thinking right now? Oh my God! Well, there has to be a little part of her that is, you know, it's not bad for them. <laughs> I wasn't reading about them that much. This, you know, past I told few weeks. Mimi. I said, Mimi, I'm getting bored. Yeah, and I. Every time I say that, then the next day it's like, you know, Kim's wearing the Mugler dress, and you know, this, and now I guess Travis like cheated on Kylie. So I'm like, damn. This is like, I'm like, I'm busy right now, you guys. Like, I can't make a video. I don't have my green screen. Like, give me like two weeks off. Um, but I feel like she's definitely super. I feel like I would be a little frustrated with if my Chris daughter. Jenner were here, and I yeah. asked, I said, Chris. Hey, doll. I said, Chris. Hey. How do you feel about all this? Oh, my God. Well, hmm. <laughs> I'm hurt. <laughs> I'm so, uh, like, I have to do this. I'm hurt. Uh, disappointed in Tristan. Yeah, and uh, disappointed, disappointed in Jordy. Absolutely, she was close to Kai, and um, I just expected more. That's it. It's at the end of the day, it's family. <laughs> you know, I feel like she's probably sad because she like treats all her kids' friends. How do you stay in this character and not laugh when you're oh doing it at home? 
Well, so like, do you ever just look me. at yourself? Yeah. Oh my god, just... totally. And I'm like, what is? What are my? Li- what's my life? Like, what are these choices? Um, <laughs> yeah, every now and then. But then it's also just like so. I it's fun to kind of just like laugh with yourself and be like, yeah. that was such be a like, weird. I'm take. in devil hands. I'm yeah, playing Chris yeah. Jenner. And, uh, like you know, and the the like funny little things that happen. Like I couldn't put the devil hands on by myself, <laughs> so I had to like you know, t- put them in my teeth and like strap them we on. We need a Benny then, like, BTS. I know. There's so much BTS, which I need to post. But you need to so do the BTS. It, Sometimes so those are the best busy. because like just. I know. Like, I have one. I had one blooper reel I did like in January. So and that one's fun. my question is, 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 is yeah. say you're going to imitate, you were doing um, Kylie and you're stormy. Yeah. <laughs> stormy. <laughs> I'm kind of getting ASMR. Oh my God. Stormy. <laughs> yeah. You're good at it. Thank you. You can do the Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> um. What is from start to finish a minute video on Instagram like that? It's getting 11,000 comments of people mm-hmm. tagging their friends. What is yeah. what is, is the setup a full day? Do you batch it? Because I, I like to mm-hmm. time batch my content. Do you yeah. Is that what you do? Or is it like, is it just has oh, you feel creatively? I so wish I had them like planned a little bit more in advance. You know, I always try to, but then... I'll get, like, really excited about one video, and then I, like, can't wait. Like, I have to put it out. Pure artist. Um, That's a pure artist. I'm just, like, I can't. Like, I need you to see it immediately. And I also get fear that somebody is going to make the video. Yeah. And do something similar. Um, So, you know, there's so much content out there. So I'm, like, I feel like... You know, when it's topical, that's when I'm most nervous because I'm like, oh shit. You know, there's a timeline. There's so many people who are going to do a Chris and Jordan thing right now. So I'm like, what's my spin? Um, and like, can I do this in four hours? And sometimes I can, like, and sometimes I can't because I'm just like, and then who do you edit? 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 Yeah, you edit. I edit. Jesus yeah. Jesus Christ, that's a lot yeah. of work. I love editing though, but yeah, it does get. I need like a break every. The now zoom ins <laughs> are so fucking fun. Oh, thank you. Zoom ins my favorite feature. That and the deep voice. Yeah. I'll do deep voice like all day. Do the deep like, voice. It's still funny to me wouldn't it just like immediately so with chris it'll just be like yeah yeah, yeah. and then it's like duh, 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 duh. like, <laughs> full, like satan i like pitch shifter on premiere is my best friend so when you watch your content back are you laughing yeah. or are you bored with it are you done with it like do you just oh want to move God. on because sometimes i know as an yeah. as an artist or a creator you you aren't on un- you aren't inspired all the time for me yeah, yeah. I'm, i oh, say i'm inspired 20 totally. percent of the time the other 80 percent, i'm just pushing myself and it's pure discipline yeah um but when I put it out, sometimes you've worked on it so hard that you kind of just need to like detach from it. Is oh, that how yeah. you are? Oh my God. Yeah. There are some that like I've spent all day on it, so I don't want to see it for a long time. And then like, it is fun though. when like friends go, I love watching people watch them. Cause it's like, I've, I'm the only one who's, you know, laughing at it during the day or like trying to make it funny. Um, so it's fun when I can like send it to, you know, like my brother or my sisters, my parents and boyfriend and friends and like finally watch someone else enjoy it. There are some that I literally hate so much by the time I'm done cause they're hard to edit. But, um, something like the Chris where it's, you know, I get it out in four hours. Um, once I get it out, it's like, okay, now I can like maybe enjoy it. And how do we get proud. Chris to see it? Oh, okay. So I, there's a rumor that Chris seen has seen one. Uh, yeah, I think, I think she That has. she saw the first one I did of her, which was like a momager they one have to, on they, Mother's Day. They have to have seen like, I, They have to. I feel like they are on it so much. They've never said anything. I mean, listen, but, they're, they're yeah. big. They're up there. But I mean, like for the type of content you're creating, it would be in how easily accessible it is for to, yeah. to view. I can't imagine somebody hasn't like sent them to them it multiple like times. It me to think. They you have know, to. I'm like, I hope they enjoy it. Unless they're just fully not watching. Like, yeah, I, I, I feel don't like know. that would have to seep through. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. Because like, even, I'm scared, even with Lauren's yeah, yeah, DMs, no. like, she gets messages not on that level, but I'm, but well, she Michael, sees things. I'm, yeah, yeah. Not on that level. No, but so you see <laughs> but, things. Like, it's like, that's hard to miss. Yeah, there are some. Well, it's some, like it usually happens when I'm like, there's no way they'll see this. And then, that People person will see them. it. Like Noah Centineo. I was like, no way and fuck he's going to see this video. And I was also, you know, it was going to be more inappropriate. So once he commented, I was like, thank God I didn't like go off. You know, I bet they like it though. It's self-deprecating. You yeah. have to be self-deprecating. And I'm like, it's flattering. Like if someone did an impression of me, I'd be like that. Yes. Thank yes. you. I can't believe you like want to do that. That's what That's I love great. about the Kardashians though, is they're in on the joke. Oh yeah. I love people that are in on the joke. They'd they laugh. know how absurd they are. Yeah. You know what I mean? Exactly. What's the difference between, between going out and doing 30 minutes of stand up and then putting out a one minute video on Instagram or YouTube? Is mm-hmm. Do you have to get in a different kind of comedy a different kind of mindset yeah definitely i mean you know my live show does have videos in it and um in costumes and i do impressions and stuff but um 
Yeah, it's kind sold of sold out live time. show. Oh, thank you. Stop. Um, <laughs> it's not sold out in Oxnard. If you're in Oxnard, you guys like hit me up. Um, we have a lot of listeners in Oxnard. Oh, I, that's what yeah. I figured. Big, um, big, big demographic. Maybe Sacramento. Yeah. Sacramento is, is a show coming up. Uh, but yeah, it's a completely different mindset. And I was terrified before I did it the first time because I was like, you know, um, I do talk about pop culture, but not as much. It's more about, you know, like my experiences day to day. And I think um, I'm very like observant, like I love watching people. So it's fun kind of like telling stories and about my life and and what I've noticed that our generation does because we do a lot of like very strange things. Um, (laughs) But it is such a different mindset. Yeah, because it's like the first time I'm me because, you know, on my content and, you know, I don't story that much. um, So we I need you keep on a stories. little distant. I know. I need more stories. We need it's you on bad. stories. It's bad. I know. Uh, like, I watch Heather McMahon's and I'm like, she's just so fucking incredible at <laughs> that storying and like, I want to be with her all day. Next but time you do, you're, she's I'm doing like, one thing and he's doing it amazing. Thank you. I appreciate that. Next it's time we to have like, to have yeah. you and Heather come in here and we'll do we, this. We'll do a oh, round God. table. I would, yeah. I could literally talk with her and be with her all day. She's just, we she's need round table. so goddamn funny. She Heather, is. you're funny as fuck. So um, my I'm question. I'm mad at every, like, I don't know, any casting director. I'm like, she should be a star. She will. <laughs> she is. She, she will, will be. be. She yeah. is a star. <laughs> yeah, she, exactly. She's, she's a star. She's but the next. I need her, like, you know, I need her in a We need a Netflix show with both of you in it. I would die. I would die. Literally. I told like, her that. I'm like, I would, yeah. I would make something with her every day if I could. Oh, Producers yeah. that are listening to this, pick, the, yeah, pick that please. pilot up. Like, get your shit together. Please. Like, stop fucking around. I'm putting <laughs> yeah. this on the record please. in 2019 when existence. you guys are, when you guys are, I'm manifesting it. Yeah. Um, In two years that you guys are doing a Netflix show together. Oh God, I would die. Let me ask you this. What, do, really what do your would. parents think about all this now? Like, what's the, yeah. what's your mom and dad's response? <laughs> oh to my God. <laughs> you know, at first, like they. That's what gets um, me curious. I'm like, what? Yeah, like, oh, how, totally. like what, are, what do those conversations look like? Oh my God. And even, you know, when I first met my boyfriend's parents I was like oh god I don't know if like I should tell them <laughs> like you know I don't I'm maybe you know my boyfriend's name is Terry I'm like I don't know if he told them like we'll see um my parents really love the videos and they came to my live show in November and I think that like sealed it for them because at first like I don't know if they thought I could like have a career doing that like well, in their like, defense like they just don't like yeah. our parent generation just does not come from this world like they don't even exactly. know how to look at it or understand like or someone's no. watching you on a yeah. video on my mom internet. still likes my videos like four days later and I'm like thank you for that final light girl <laughs> like I needed that thank you um but yeah they're into it now which is it's it's really fun I think at first you know as a parent, no matter what, you're just going to be like scared of the internet and how people are. But I've been really fortunate. People are like super kind to me. And and if like, you know, every now and then I get a shitty comment, I think the best thing to do is just like immediately ignore it and then go respond to like a nice one. And you yeah. forget about it. So that's a good tip. Immediately really ignore that. it and respond to a I nice mean, one. I mean, what do you yeah. think you'd be Never doing if engage. you weren't doing this? Oh my God. I would be that? heartbroken. I <laughs> know. Like I have to do this. Like I have He's to. An artist. I, I just, I have to make stuff and, and write and. Um, I tried doing an office job and you guys, I'm really bad at it. <laughs> I was not good. I got fired. Walk me through um, a day. Of, <laughs> yeah. Let's say you work in this office. So like, walk oh me God. through, walk me through your work day. <laughs> oh my God. If I worked in this office, uh, I mean, I would definitely get in late cause I am like not Same. a morning person. We, that's just Same. not us. I'm artistic. Yeah. No way. We need time. I need my fucking beauty sleep. <laughs> yeah. Hello. And I need like a chill. Like I need my Starbucks. I need like a good, but I love the night. Like I love working at night. So I think that's why it didn't, you know, editing is yep. so great at night because no one texts me. It's and like no yeah. one's, you know, saying I'm anything. on the same page. I think I'm too like ADD for to like be around people while I'm working. So I think that's also why an office no, environment you just was need, bad. Yeah, you need your I'm like, I just want to talk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, I want to hang you out. You and me both. Yeah, right? <laughs> Hanging this up. Just close this office down. Right? Yeah. Like, what, we have a lot of young listeners. Do you have any yeah. advice of someone that right. has a niche idea that they yeah. want to put on the internet? Mm-hmm. What would you tell someone that wants to make one minute videos how oh to sort God. of blow up like you? Um, you know, I think think outside of what... Um, of what you're seeing, you know, I think uh, I heard for a while people like really hating Instagram comedy and I was like, well, maybe you just saw something you didn't like, like there, you know, there are other ways to, um, you know, do what you love and, um, and kind of like make a different path for yourself. You know, you don't have to make the thing that everyone else is making, you know, you can totally like change the game if you wanted to. So, um, my advice to anyone who, you know, wants to make videos is like, find your voice and like, you know, stick to it. And 
do not expect to like blow up overnight. That's just like not how it happens. I've made like 125 videos at this point. I well, think. you're living proof as well. Like the example of you mimicking other people in the way that you thought needed to be, you know, yeah. you, the way you grew up, you thought you needed to mimic. And then yeah. when you said, you know what, I'm just going to be myself and do my thing. Like that's yeah. when you start to see, I think so many people they go through and they like have these parameters that society sets in front of them and they say, okay, I got to do that. And then they look at somebody like maybe like yourself who's yeah. had success doing the, the formula that you do and they try mm -hmm. to mimic that. And it's like, you're constantly living and working as somebody else and so it's hard yeah. to get into the a rhythm of creativity because it's not totally. your creativity yeah right? oh absolutely it's like it's just not you so yeah it's like about and just you know i always stress that like if somebody comes to my page and they leave wanting to like let their freak flag fly a little bit more and like wear a wig and wear weird lipstick and wear the shirt that they like never were gonna wear and do something that they loved but felt like they were gonna make get made fun of so they you know, left it to the side, like get into that. That's so much more interesting to me now. I just feel like, you know, I see so many things where I'm like, oh, like you're just, you're limiting yourself trying to be perfect or trying to, you know, I don't know. People are messy. I'm like, I like the messiness. I, I like freaks. Like I want crazy shit. When you freak, think about so. the people that we I all admire. Too. Yeah. They give me anything but boring. Right? I'm just like, I just want, like, I've seen so many things. I'm just like, I want weird shit. Yeah. When you think you know? about everybody that we admire, like anybody, anybody you yeah. admire, it's because they've done something unique and different and they totally. stood out, right? Like, yeah. all like people... when you waxed your eyebrows and you looked different, I was into that. It was it's like, dope. Yeah. When I was yeah, it's a new look. Oh, oh yeah. No, I love that. Some gore. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> like when Taylor was at our wedding and he went to a strip club and pissed himself and was on mm -hmm. the strip pole. Yeah, Taylor, that was fun. He That's added some flavor to our wedding. Yeah, Taylor's a vibe. Yeah, I Taylor is a vibe. Taylor is that. a vibe. He, that, I've never heard him described as a vibe, but he's, <laughs> he's something. That's a whole damn mood. Okay, I love that. Taylor, you're a vibe. <laughs> Did you hear that? Taylor's smiling. Yeah. I thought I told you to have that mic hot at all times. flirting too. with me. Oh my God. Uh, Taylor, you Obsessed. are being flirty. Yes. Taylor, I tell you to have that Obsessed. mic hot all the time so you can chime in. I got to wait. You're probably back there scrambling around yeah. trying to figure out. A hundred percent. Okay. Yeah. So what are your most popular videos and why do you oh, think God. they went viral? Obviously, I'm going to just, okay. the, Zo the Zodiac ones yeah. are some of them. But yeah. what are other ones and why do you think they went um, viral? I'm so glad you, yeah. I'm like so sick of talking about those videos. So thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm so sick of those videos. Already. I get hounded all the time. Um... I would say the ones that did, so Queer Eye, I think because, um, you know, I really love the show. And I think if you really like enjoy something, you can make a great parody of it. Um, you know, that's why I think the Kardashian stuff hits because like I really do enjoy them and I, I'm interested in what they bring to culture and, and who they are. And um, I think they're just like impressive women. So like uh, it's not coming from a place of like, you don't like them and want to yeah. bash them. It's like coming from admiration. Exactly. I think comedy, when it, you know, veers more into like shitting on something or feeling like you're better than something. It just doesn't come off as like feels, fun. Feels it bitter. Should, yeah, it feels bitter and um and yeah, just not as like fun. I'm like maybe we can like laugh at this, but I can point out a few things that maybe you haven't noticed. Um, but because like I get to do this as my job, like I got to notice and I I want you to see it. But um the Kylie and Travis one did super well, the GQ remake. Um just cause I think everyone watched that video and was like a little confused. So I was like, wait, okay, I'll make something with that. And, and yeah. So what was one of the strange. questions? Can you remind us? Oh of one God. Of the <laughs> one of the ones I added. Yeah. Um, I think it was like, uh, w the simple one, like there are some, that I was like, I'm going to cut it, but I liked it in the end where it was like, what color are my lips? <laughs> and he was just like, <laughs> pink <laughs> you know it's just like this simple like just another or, the best is when like she asked flavor. the dogs that she did he didn't know the dogs oh, of course yeah and like they're together and you know like they have child a child together, together. Yeah. And, and yeah he does not know the name of her dogs she said which aren't they like normie and stormy and normie stormy, <laughs> normie stormy <laughs> oh, i love it i love it if there's a lull in my live show, I'm just going to say Stormy. I'm like, I think that's just how you I'm going to do Can it. you say it for us Yeah, all? oh my God. I'm like, Stormy. Stormy. <laughs> I love it. I, it's, it's so bad. It's do like ruining think, my relationships. Do you think Kylie is is mad at Jordan? Uh, yeah, definitely really sad. I mean, I just, oh my God. Like, I think in that family, if you bring someone to the table, it's like you better bring someone who's like going to, you know, bring their A game. Like, I, is it... Um, I'm trying to think. Who's Chloe's friend? Is it her name Malika, right? Yeah. And she, I feel like she is just ride or die. Like, she just lives and breathes Kardashians. So, like, Chloe's bringing her to the table. And, like, you know, Jordan just did not show up. 
Well, and actually, she, she did show up. up at the red table. <laughs> yeah, at, at the red <laughs> table top. What the hell's the red table? Jada oh Pickett. God, you gotta watch. It's actually fantastic. Can you, know you give him an? Really can you give him an update? I get like, my, yes. my okay, Kardashian yeah, news from Lauren. So Facebook started a thing called Facebook Watch. Okay. And one of the shows is Red Table. Do you like is, Facebook Watch? Um, I watch Red Table. Okay. I've watched a few Red Tables. Okay. I don't ever watch like at, on the moment it's out. Okay. Um, but uh, I watched the one they did with Will Smith, which was fun because it's like all the Smith women but all that matters is jordan is jordan so they brought jordan in because like i guess she's a family friend mm-hmm. um and it's literally just a red table and they just talk honesty <laughs> i i think that's like you know the, the shtick the yep. um yeah and so she was on it today i need to watch the full thing i've only seen clips but juicy i'm stressed it is so ju- i mean it's just perfect like i yeah i oh. I, I mean, to, like, I, I feel like I feel like it was um, planned. Oh, but I do think yeah. that you need to do a red table mm-hmm. reenactment tonight, not to oh. stress you out. Yeah, I probably do. <laughs> like honestly, like yeah, I'll cancel dinner with my sister. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> your life's a little stressful now because yeah. all these things are happening. And you I, gotta know. Jump right in. I know. Well, I know. What was so great because Kim did the like, like people are like thing. like Lauren's looking. At you, yeah. you better get She's, on like, that. She's like waiting you know? for it, and yeah. people. I mean, they message quick. They'll be like. You know, it was really hard when Brittany, all of a sudden, she was, like, posting a video a day. And I was getting tagged in it so much. And I'm like, you guys, like, this isn't just a reenactment account. Like, I have to have an idea. Like, I, it has to be, like, you know, I have to be excited about it. Or I'm like, or it's literally just going to be, like, you know, word for word. Why is the furniture small? Um, Heather did a breakdown of this. In oh, Brittany's house, the furniture is small. Yes. Um, now I'm completely lost. Brittany. Yeah. Oh, my God. I mean, Brittany is, like... She's so near and dear to me, and I I've studied it, and I've studied I've watched all of Heather's. Um, I need to talk about it with Heather more, but I think because like she at the end of the day she's just like a sweet Southern girl and likes like cute things, and she just wants to like dance and probably didn't want this life, but it was like handed to her. And it low key like destroyed her, but then she like made her way out, which She's I think like is Rapunzel. like a feat. She is like I just I like want to save her, but also I'm like she seems really happy with her kids and that like super hunky boyfriend. But <laughs> so I'm, like, like go there's off it's, there's something but going on. Heather McMahon a did a lot. whole breakdown. I know, but she's so sweet. I know she's so sweet. That's why I'm like Brit. But the, it's think... nice the way you make not. I don't want to say make fun of the way you um mm-hmm. impersonate people is not in a way that makes people feel bad. Yeah, I mean, I think on the last Britney one, I was like, you know, I was, I was watching a lot of her videos for like inspo, and I was like, oh, this one's getting kind of sad. <laughs> I'm like, this one's feeling kind of not as fun, because um, some of her videos were pretty strange at the time. Um, but I think it's just because she's like chilling in her house, and like, I mean, all she knows is like performing, and you know. I just, yeah, I can't imagine her life. That sounds like a true nightmare to me. <laughs> like, doing that much performing, like... It's a lot. I mean, it's like you said, it's like 20% of creativity, but then also to add on to that, like, then, you know, 79% performing all the time, you know? So, so oh, wow. I want to know where, where you plan on taking... I mean, your brand, mm-hmm. to me, Michael and I were watching it. If you guys haven't checked out his Instagram, I don't even mm, know what to say. Just you. really quickly, well, let's say if you Instagram haven't, out. you got to, like, pause this. Mm-hmm. Shut, the, shut the show down. <laughs> yeah. Get what's what's Instagram. the Instagram really quick? It's at Benny Drama Seven. Yeah. Okay, go yeah. take oh, a break. Seven. Like literally, yeah. hit pause. Which is so random. No, I yeah. like the seven. Benny like Drama. It. He would not give it to me, so okay. I'm seven. Well, so <laughs> but, he, he yeah. exists. Benny Drama's out there. Oh, he's out there. Yeah, mm. he's. Uh, I think he follows me, but I can't follow him back because I'm too petty because I'm mad he wouldn't give me Benny Drama. Benny Drama, if you're listening. <laughs> yeah, if you're listening, like, I'm low-key pissed. Um, no, I like the seven now because it's kind of, like, funny and AIME. And, yeah, I yeah, like I it, too. I don't know why it's It there. reminds me of my screen name, right? Fantasy Girl 143 Oh, my God. Thank you. That was her name. Do you know my boyfriends? <laughs> what? NFL fanatic, Yikes. 1993. Yikes. And I'm like, girl, name one person in the NFL. Like, oh, I love it. Uh, honey, what was yours? Yeah, mine. Like, yours changed. is boring. Like, no. probably M. Boston. Yeah, right? no, right. it was like he like didn't. Have I it. was yeah. super into Metallica at one point. And I think it was like Metallica. Okay. Well, I still, I still love Metallica, but yeah. I think it was like Metallic six 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 or sixty six something like oh, that. It was like so very like Satan. Shit. I was like really kind of like. I feel like now it would be Wax Brow two two two. 
<laughs> you get some weird fucking emails. I, oh my God. I, I, need, I need more weird emails. Like I need a yeah. kick in the head. Uh, yeah. Okay. okay. They're, so, they're coming in already. I like that. I need to know w- yeah. w- with your Instagram platform, you're obviously mm-hmm. doing major things. Are you Thank putting you. all your energy onto your Instagram and your stand up shows? Do you mm-hmm. plan on like expanding bigger? Like it's yeah. hard as talent. I know to mm-hmm. have to start to scale a business. Yeah, totally. As a creative. And kind of like, where does it go from here? Or am I getting bored? Um, right now I do, uh, like I'll keep making this stuff on Instagram and, um, and posting the longer sketches to like YouTube or different platforms. You know, I am talking to some like, um, I guess like digital networks and places like that, that, you know, maybe some of my videos would have like higher production and kind of see my characters and like on a set instead of like green screen. Um, but yeah, I, you know, I, at the end of the day, I think I'm probably an actor first. So I would love to, you know be in something that I didn't write it's like so fun to like see what someone else thought of as a character and like put my own voice into that so that's something that I'm like starting um you know and recently got like a manager and agent so trying to figure that out but um but yeah I would love you know it's so interesting to, to, to speak with people that do what you do because 20 years ago, you know, you need to get an agent, man. You need to go out audition and do all this stuff. Like you you have so much leverage now because Mm -hmm. you control your platform and your channel. And so he's created his own future. And also you can bring a steady stream of income and opportunity where like before, in order to be seen on the level that you've been seen, you have to go and audition and get somebody oh, to put yeah. you out there. It's, it's crazy. Like, and the people who do that, I'm like, so like mad respect, but like, I just can't auditions are terrifying. Like I can't imagine. You can do it on like, your own terms. You know what? Yeah. Though? You we know, have can... friends that are very talented. Maybe they're writers or trying to be actors. Yeah. And they're like so resistant to social. Like I'm not doing that. Cause it's not my crap. And I'm like, listen, yeah. man, like you're, you're pushing a rock so far uphill. Like, yeah. Why not leverage yeah. These platforms that have eyes it's on them already. Fun. And yeah. it can be fun. It's you know? strategic. And yeah. And it's it's like, okay, every now and then I'm like, it would be funny to show people I could do this, you know? And then I think it would excite me in doing it. So, you know, like the Noah Centineo video, I was like, I just want to show you that I could do this. And, you know, I've done a lot of Chris Jenner this week. Mm-hmm. So like, oh, let me just do this. And and people responded really well to it. And um, yeah, I, I think it's a great place to like show range and also, it's just like so much fun. Well, in the like, 2019 you know, world, it like doesn't make sense to do it the hard way anymore. No. It's like, and, and also, like well, a lot hold of people are doing it. It is the hard way. No, no, but it's just no, exactly. a different yeah. way. I'm saying yeah. basically like to not utilize no, these platforms. Of, no, it's, yeah. it's, in my opinion, it's, it's it, the smart way. It's the more, of this, it's like kind of like the four hour work week. It's like, why, yeah. why, if you could wake up before anyone and make all your cold calls at 6 a.m., then yeah. why go to work at eight? Yeah, exactly. Like, and just, you know. If I started making cold calls at 6 a.m., <laughs> I don't think a lot of people are going to be He's not, a, he's not okay. allowed to make one peep in the morning. Oh, yeah. I good. I like yeah. that. Oh, my God. You should You're the of... me. You're so. Oh this was God. him If my boyfriend today. was sitting here, he'd be like, oh. I'm like a fucking. Fuck like... This is how he gets up. I'm like a fucking ghost in the morning. <gasps> Shit. <laughs> I'm like, my cortisol okay, levels, this it. is not yeah. good for no, like no, my no. stomach. I'm already stressed. Yeah, immediately. Oh, isn't it fun to wake up with a gut ache? I feel like that's just like the life. Yeah, I just live with constant. I'm just constant. Like, <laughs> constant, yeah. Eyes open. Here comes the stress. Yeah. Ready to go. No, exactly. That's yeah. how I feel. <sighs> I'm like, how many videos do I make? Yeah. Um, no, if, if you could recommend a book, a podcast, a resource oh to our audience, it could be anything. Oh my God. Maybe a comedy book you read, a yeah. podcast that you love, a Netflix show you like. What would you oh recommend? God. Right now, you know, I, um, oh God, that's so hard. I love Big Mouth. I've been watching a lot of Big Mouth. The cartoon? Um, With Nick Kroll. Nick Kroll? Is that? Nick Kroll, yeah. like John Mulaney. It's like, it's just genius. You'd I think be it's good really at cartoons because you're, I would love doing your cartoons. range. Oh, thank you. Wait, you My need to do cartoons. My voice is terrifying sometimes. Um, I, love I would it. love to. Yeah. I would really, really love to. That's definitely like on the dream, dream list. A big Mouth. I need to watch like, that. I just want to be like a, I don't know, like a gay something in a Pixar movie. A <laughs> That's like all I want. <laughs> just something. I, I like anything. Yeah. Like a Disney? Or like a mean kid or something. You know, I don't know. Like like maybe Scuttle and like yeah, Little Mermaid. The that's re- what I'm talking about. Something good. Yes. Something, that'd be great. Yes. A cartoon would be fun. That would be so much fun. So I just, I love what they, they did with that. I think, you know, comedy cartoons are great. And they're like, it's just nice to just fully like turn off. But also the show, like it does make you think about things and it's like nostalgic. I've heard nothing but good things about Pen15. What's that? Um, It's on Hulu. Okay. And these two comedians did it and they're 30, but they're playing 13 on the show. Amazing. And it's like super like nostalgic for our generation. Like they have, you know, like even the name, like Pen15. Um, but I guess it has like all our music. And so that's on my list. 
Um, but it's literally been recommended so many times. I, I think I'm going to recommend it. Like, let, let's watch it together. Oh, let's watch it. Um, I need to do it. We have yeah. Hulu. We yeah. Can, we can log into oh, Mimi's God. account. Oh, I yeah. might need your account. Uh, <laughs> okay, we can like, exchange it. We'll give you Mimi's um, account. We'll give the listeners Mimi's account. We'll all watch it together. Oh, I would love that. <laughs> yeah, Hulu's like, what the fuck? <laughs> Pimp yourself out to our audience. You guys, yeah. I'm telling you, if you don't follow him on Instagram, you're oh, missing out on like, you. I was crying laughing today. Mm. Michael was crying. Weston was mm. crying. You are fucking funny. We stopped oh, thank a, you so we stopped much. a meeting in the middle of it and just started watching your content. Yeah. And we're just done what do you want more of? Like, what do you want? What do you... Like, oh, just want, want more make? of you. Yeah. Oh, God. We do just... Stop. I'd like a red Stop. table. I would like a red okay, table. Okay, yeah. I can definitely make a red table yeah. work, I think. I also yeah. would like to see you reenact mm-hmm. the kiss Okay. between Jordan and Tristan. The kiss. Oh, the actual kiss. Yeah. Oh, my God. I don't think okay. it was a kiss. I'm so curious. Yeah. I've wanted to do like a dateline type thing with yeah. it. You know, like I a used cheaters. to love dateline. Yeah, exactly. Remember cheaters. cheaters. Yeah. Oh, my God. That guy with the glasses like, would like run up to people. X-Files. He got, he got oh. stabbed, I think. Did Inspector he really? Gadget, you could be in like God, a Doing chair. God's work. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Good for him. You got uh, You got to do a red table. <laughs> yeah, I definitely Investigate do. Investigate files. Oh. I'm like, fuck. <laughs> like, I wanted to sleep tonight. So what's your Instagram? Tell everyone has to follow you. Oh, so my Instagram is at Benny Drama 7. Okay. YouTube. Um, not to be YouTube. confused with Benny Drama. Not with Benny Drama. Don't you dare follow him. Um, it's. I think it's just, it, it, if you just look up Benito Skinner YouTube, um, my channel is just, yeah, under my name. And then um, if you want to get tickets to a live show, um, I'm coming to like Seattle, Philly, um, Sacramento, Boston, I think I'm allowed to say it, but I'm coming to DC. We're coming to um, next time you come to LA. Where, where oh, can they, where you can they find that information? Yeah. Where they get tickets? So um, the link in my bio is just benitoskinner.com, and you can you come. And the show is like, it's it's wild. It's really fun. You I'm guys, excited. I need you both there at the next one. Please. We're coming to the yeah, next LA please. show for sure. Yeah. I I want to like sit on the stage. Oh my like, god, I want to sit like oh on god. the ground. You can even be row. backstage when I'm like changing into Britney, I, and I have to like smear black eyes. Do you do all, all your makeup? Myself. I do in my videos. Well, because I'm obsessed with makeup tutorials. See, like I've been looking at the highlight in your inner corner this whole... NYX. <gasps> I knew it. Six bucks drugstore. The platinum it's one so good. brightens the whites of your yeah. eyes and your teeth. It's just like... Just a oh. little. I don't like eyeshadow. Yeah. I don't like oh, eyeshadow. you don't? Mm-mm. See, I think for my character, like I need you so know, much you need of eyeshadow. to pop. You need eyeshadow but, for your characters. Oh my God, yeah. Like these lashes you are- like a little like here? Like, it, I have crease. like um, a contour. Yeah, like Not, bronzer. Yeah, it's like the Anastasia kit. Oh. I love. Uh, but yeah. you got to get these lashes, Ardell 113. I really need. They're I'm the best. so bad. Okay, so quick tutorial. How do I put them on? Oh, like, I don't know I'm how to put a, them on. Yeah. <laughs> I, I've watched so many drag queens. Let do me it. tell you I'm how to like, do it. What the fu- okay. Yeah, no, 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 tell no. me. How yeah. do I do I, this? I like to use Glam um, Squad to put them on. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't know how to. I mean, I it's know like how that. to put them on, but I'm not like, I wouldn't give the advice. She on knows it. how to take them off and leave them in weird places in the house. Good. I like that. look like spiders. Here's a hot tip. Yeah. I take them off. Okay. And then I leave them in different places all over the house. That's so, so like fun. under his pillowcase, yeah, in his journal, like a scavenger in his, for you. his that's daily great. stoic journal. He Good. opens it up. It's a bookmark. Oh, so I, what it does yeah. though is it like just shows that he's taken just in case. Like yeah. this is a good tip, you guys. When I was uh, just dating Michael, yeah, you leave little things around the house. Things in the house. Yeah. Oh my god, it's like that Britney song perfume. Or yeah. Whatever. Remember yeah, that? yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh my god, he remembers. If you, <laughs> you remember my, that one, my dad, told, my dad gave me advice on this case. Like, listen, yeah. you start dating a woman, he's like, don't yeah. give her a drawer. I go, what are you talking about? He's like, if they take a drawer, then they take the dresser, oh, then they take yeah. the closet, I took then they the whole the fucking kitchen. House. Oh my god, that's literally me. I mean, I I have like bins of costumes around my apartment and my boyfriend's. Just like How long have you guys nightmare. been dating? Two and a half years. Ooh, yeah, you need to crazy. show me a picture of him. He, oh, I, I haven't seen yeah. him on your Insta. Oh my god, yeah, I've kind of I, I hide him because some of those young gays. Let me see. They'll come. They'll, oh, they'll DM him. I'm really? like, I don't that's need what happens. That. Could oh, you imagine? Really? Look at his phone. Hold on, I need to you stop. Guys, I, yeah, I I bought the Lume case with Kim on it because I, I was want like, that. look, and okay, I needed to charge it, but the lights. Like, look at that. This was important. Yeah, you need yeah. that. Oh, okay. Sorry, Lume. Lume, send me a new one, honestly. But I need to charge it. Okay, hold on. Um, yeah, it's like changed the game. Because that's the best part of the show. Just come night. on here and mention a brand and then ask them to send right. some brands. Lume, what's if up? Any <laughs> brands guys, are listening. Look at his phone case. That is so Lume, cute. You guys, Nordstrom.com. Is it Lume or Lumi? Oh, it's probably Lumi. Why am I making it bad? You know, it's Lumi. <laughs> Added an accent. accent. Right. It's very, Lumi. Very French. Yeah, there is no accent on there. That it's is amazing. Lumi. Um, oh, God, I can't believe I said Lumi. Benny, thank it. you for coming oh on. Yes, thank you are you for hysterical. You guys follow so him at Benny Drama 7. The next time you come to LA, you're coming on yes. the podcast with Heather McMahon. Oh, my God. We're going to make that happen. That's We're putting that squad. out in the universe. We're yes, putting it out. Absolutely. Maybe we'll even throw in the bitch Bible. We'll do a round oh, table. God. I would truly love yeah. to. Yeah. And we're coming to your show. Congratulations 
don't stop sending me your podcast. Me like be on it. I'm like okay, you're on it. You're here. I'm like you're I live. did it. You're, you're, you're coming back. <laughs> Listen, and I cannot wait. Did next. that happen? You got people are sending. They're good. Yes. See, you that's know what I love. Yes. About you know what? Good. I actually yes. might when next time you're in town invite yeah. Chris Jenner on the podcast. Oh my god. So I might. Have, I would die. He needs to come on as Chris Jenner. I want you in full I character. Can't can you do that? Like, I would die. Yeah. Maybe our oh listeners can make that happen. Guys, sob. go out there get Chris Jenner to come on the show. Yeah. No, 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 no. I want him as Chris Jenner to come on our show. Oh well, I misunderstood. Okay. Yeah. You get a both. Oh my god. Oh yeah. That's okay, really, let's put that out to yeah. the ether. I always have her wig with me just in case. She's the only wig I travel with. Oh. You just never know when you need to like whip out a Chris Jenner. Next time and I insist bronzer. that you come on the podcast as Chris Jenner. Done. Yeah. Okay. I will like blood oath that right now. Okay. I guess. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Done. All right. Thank Done. you for coming on. Oh, thank you for having thank me. Thank you. This was so much fun. <laughs>